Okay, you guys, the big day is here. It's silage chopping day. So as I've mentioned before, we have our two little corn fields and these are planted with silage corn. So this is corn that is specifically for silage. Um, it's different than regular field corn. So we'll use the whole plant, the leaves, the stalks, the husks, the corn, everything will be chopped by the silage chopper and then put into a semi. And then it will um, be hauled over to the silage bunker that we built a few weeks ago. Once it's at the silage bunker, it'll be packed really tightly um, and then siled so that no oxygen can get in. And then we'll use it this winter and late fall to feed our cows. Silage has a lot more energy in it than just feeding uh, straight hay in the winter. So since we are fall calvers and our cattle are gonna, our cows are gonna have calves at their side in like, you know, basically December through March, feeding the silage gives them more energy so that they can make more milk and grow their calves and also keep their body condition up. So this is our first time doing silage. We're really excited and I can hear the silage chopper behind me. I can't see it yet, but it should be coming around that corner follow along because we're gonna see a lot of it today okay so this silage truck is full now and they're gonna take that silage over to the pit and start packing it <laughs> and since that one left another one is gonna pull into place and get set up and then they will start going another round around the cornfield and they will just keep going until it's finished up chopper is a big spout so the whole plant goes in the silage chopper in the header there you can see the yellow spinning gears and it goes up to the spout and gets shot down into the truck The chopper it literally chops the corn and it chops off very low on the stalk you can see here this is a stalk chops it very low so the whole plant goes in and we use the whole plant um, so it really is nothing is going to wait this is another full truck of silage uh, he backed up to the pit it's going to dump out all the chopped silage from the cornfield and then the tractor driver is going to smooth it out and drive over it and make sure that it's all packed down tightly every truck dumps a wagon full of silage is driving over the pile and packing it down and spreading it out to make sure that the oxygen is removed from the pile. The reason we don't want any oxygen in the pile is because we want an anaerobic environment. Anaerobic means without oxygen and basically if oxygen gets in the pile uh, it will rot. So we definitely don't want all of the time and resources and water and all that that went into making the silage to be wasted so we want to make sure that we put it up correctly okay this is just a little handful but as you can see there's you can see kernels in there you can see you know leaves 
um, parts of the stock. Let's see if there's a, there's a piece of a corn cob. Um, so it, it really is the whole plant chopped up for the cows. They're gonna love it. After about an hour and a half, that's all that's left of that cornfield. It's all been chopped down to short stalks. So they make short work of that. They're very efficient, but we got a lot of cow feed out of it. Okay, it's the next day. We didn't get it covered last night, but we're here now to cover the silage pile. Um, the top layer is dried out a little bit from the sun, but underneath there it is starting to ensile. So it's been tamped down so that as little oxygen as possible is in the pile with a big tractor and we're going to cover it. So that's a cover that we're going to use um, and we'll put that cover over it and then we'll hold the cover down with these pieces like the side walls of tires and then those are sandbags. So we're going to make sure that we get it covered down really tightly so that no oxygen gets in it because um, if oxygen gets in it, basically it'll rot. So we wanna create an anaerobic environment so that we keep the oxygen content down and keep the nutrient quality up so that we don't have rotten. What you got there? Oh, a little flower. It's for you. Oh, thank you. We wanna keep the oxygen content down and the nutrient quality up. This is be high quality, high energy feed for our cows this winter and uh, late fall which will help them make lots of milk to raise the baby calves that they have at their side. So we're excited to do the, the silage pit for the first time this year. So the cover is two layers. It has a white layer and then the under layer is a black layer. So the white reflects the sun, but the black um, helps it in style. So that's just some interesting fact about the cover. It's specially made for silage pits. It's not just like a piece of plastic that you'd buy at a hardware store. It's specially made. So we've only had this in here about 24 hours and it's kind of dry on top, but if you just go down like an inch or two, it's warm to the touch. Uh, so it's already started to ensile and collect that heat. And that's pretty cool just to see that anaerobic environment working that way. Okay, this is the finished project. This is our silage pit slash bunker which totally makes me think of Parks and Rec and the song that Andy Dwyer is talking about, like, we all fell into the pit. I can't remember all the words. So basically that's what's going through my head right now. But this is the finished silage pit. Um, it's all packed down and tamped down underneath there. And um, then we put the plastic tarp on and put tires on top of all of it and sandbags. So um, when late fall and winter is here, we'll roll the tarp up, get the skid loader and scoop some up put it in the silage wagon, close that back down to keep oxygen out and we'll do that every day to feed. So, um, and then these are the bales, the recycled ones, or they're a year old. We'll use those as like bedding or wind breaks or when we need extra food for a scratch factor with the cows. So, you know, everything here will be used and we'll save the tires for next year. So that's the silage pit process, silage bunker process. Uh, if you have questions, let me know and be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook on the following slide. Peace.